look at my morning glories. This is the back side. Little suckers just wanted to go on the wrong side of the trellis this year. Aren't they pretty? Look at how gorgeous. So I have those. Those. The deep purple. The white. Here's my mops. <laughs> the white. This is when they really, really start taking over. When you think nothing else will grow, morning glories do. And oh my goodness, but does September not have the most beautiful skies? September skies are crisp blue with beautiful clouds. I guess while we're here, we'll take the maters. And then later, oh, I've got one that fell down in there. Then later, I'm going to get some corn husk off of corn to dry because I want to make corn husk dolls. Like my shorts are, my, my shirts are so small now I don't have a pocket to put my veggies in. That's how you know you're losing weight. And your shirts fit well enough you don't have a place to put your veggies. Oh, my mater fell off the vine. My mater fell off the vine. That was an heirloom plant. Buddy, that plant put out. And it didn't have much because I put these sweet potato buns in with it. Did excellent. Did great. Um, I'm going to try the seed trick, but I don't have a lot of hope because I've been growing maters my whole life. I ain't never seen one do that, so. But we'll try. It's a Dave spotting in the wild. <laughs> Not happy with me. Okay, so I'm going to go and pick some corn leaves. Ideally, you want husk, but it works with leaves too. Um, because I want to make some dolls. And you can make them out of these too. The husks are better, but um, my husks are crap. Because some of the corn did okay and some of it did not. So I'm going to take the dried leaves and um, finish drying them. And that's what I'm going to make my corn husk dolls out of. Now, it makes bending a little bit more precarious. I haven't made these since I was a kid. So, I want to make a couple. And actually, it, I'm not going to make a traditional corn husk doll with this. Now, I can make one if you want me to for a bit. But what I'm making is a doll to hang on my front porch. I should have clarified. It's not a traditional corn husk doll. It's a, uh, like a tobacco leaf hanging for your front porch. So let me gather some of these, and then I'll show you what I make with them when I've got them dried and done. Okay, I think this will be enough. But um, if it's not enough, I, you can go to the store and buy a corn husk in an um, aisle that's got um, the Spanish, Mexican, Latin foods, whatever you want to call it. Um, those are, look at those crisp September skies. Y'all, find the beauty in life. Is that not beautiful? I even think my blue tarps hanging on the clothesline are pretty today. Boy, it poured rain on us yesterday. Isn't that beautiful? Look at those September skies. I've always loved September skies. I used to love the fall because it meant deer season was coming, all the hunting season was coming, and a lot of time spent around the potbelly stove and the taxidermy shop talking with the fellas, getting, getting a lot of knowledge, sharing your hunting stories. And then, kaboom, life changed when... My legs left me, and now, you know, I probably still can't hunt unless we can use Dad side by side and drop me off and pick me up. But um, look at that breeze. That's so beautiful. Look at the colors there, y'all. I mean, just appreciate what God gave us. He gave us so much. People want to act like it's so little, but it's so much. Um, but I'm looking forward to. Maybe just being able to help a little bit and be part of that again. I love the candy stripe cosmos. They're just so pretty. But, so I'm not looking at fall going, oh crap, I'm going into winter and this is when I hurt the worst. 
and oh, it's going to be horrible. I'm going into fall going, hmm, maybe things will be different this winter. Maybe I won't hurt as bad. Maybe I will have options and opportunities that I didn't have last year. And it's exciting. That cat is following me and meowing like you would not believe. Um, but I'm really excited to see what I can kind of become part of this winter instead of being trapped in the house. I don't know how the bone pain and nerve pain is going to do when the cold hits, but I've done so much better with the storms and the barometric pressure systems. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I do well. There's a picture of the sunlight and a beautiful sunflower and these beautiful September skies. God's good to us, y'all. Okay, and once you picked your corn husk, you want to finish drying them. I'm just putting them in the screen windows at the porch. We'll see how they do. I may have to put them in smaller clumps, but I don't have a lot of room, so I got a whopper nest. I mean, it's empty. But just put them in sun, let them dry. Don't take them in too many bugs. Let them stay out for a day or two and uh, let them dry a little bit. And then when I get to working on them, I'll show you what I make in a few days. Yeah, I would say I live in a normal house, but then I go on my back porch to go in the door and I have a coyote hanging to dry and air out. I mean, I decorate my back porch and try to make it pretty. I even have a saddle on the wall. And then I walk in and Dave is like, he needs a safe place to dry. <sighs> Why? This is why people don't visit me. I'm weird.